viewers welcome back to english b honeysuckle unit 10 we have already discussed part 1 part 2 and part 3 of the story the banyan tree we will discuss the remaining part that is part 4 of the lesson today and that will be the end of this unit as always here are a few points for you to note. Recalling the previous lesson, explanations of the keywords and phrases, comprehension questions with answers, summary of the paragraphs discussed, and a short biography of the author. lesson. The fight continued. The cobra attacked the mongoose but missed. The mongoose countered the attack and was successful. There were drops of blood on the cobra's back. He must grow desperate to attack with even more fury. Let's begin with paragraph 14. The cobra struck and missed. Again, the mongoose sprang aside, jumped in and bit. Again, the birds dived at the snake, bumped into each other instead, and returned shrieking to the safety of the cactus. Here, the keywords and phrases that we have come across in the paragraph. Sprang aside, it means jumped to one side. Bumped into, it means ran into with a jolt. Shaking, it means uttering a sharp shrill sound or screaming. Safety, here it means place of security. Here are a few short questions with answers to comprehend the paragraph. 1. Where did the birds return after they had attacked the cobra? They had returned to the place of safety, the cactus, after attacking the cobra. 2. Who do you think were the birds supporting? The birds were supporting the mongoose. summary of the paragraph. The cobra attacked but missed. The mongoose again beat the snake and jumped aside. The birds again tried to attack the cobra but collided with each other and returned shrieking to the cactus. Let us read the following part that is paragraph 15 to see what happens. The third round followed the same course as the first, but with one dramatic difference. The crow and the miner, still determined to take part in the proceedings, dived at the cobra, but this time they missed each other as well as their mark. The miner flew on and reached its perch, but the crow tried to pull up in mid-air and turn back. In the second that it took the bar to do this, the cobra whipped his head back and struck with great force, his snout thudding against the crow's body. 
explanations of keywords and phrases dramatic difference it means marked difference in the proceedings it means in the events mark it means target perch it means shelter or secure position or branch whipped his head back it means moved his head first snout it means the nose and mouth of an animal thudding it means making a dull sound here are a few short questions with answers to comprehend the part just read out one describe the dramatic difference the dramatic difference is a reference to the impact of the cobra's attack on the crow in mid air two what is their mark a reference to their mark is a reference to the bird's target that is the cobra three how did the birds react to their failure to hit the target the birds reacted differently the miner returned to his shelter while the crow tried to pull up in mid air and turned back to hit the cobra four the crow attempted to hit the cobra what happened then instantly the cobra moved his head and attacked the crow with full force he snout thudding against the crow's body here are a few words to summarize the paragraph under discussion the birds tried to attack the cobra for the third time in the same manner however this time there was change they didn't collide with each other the miner flew back to its perch the crow tried to continue the fight in the air and came back instantly the cobra also moved and attacked the crow with full force the cobra whipped his head back and struck the crow with great force he snout thudding against the bird's body what happened then who was hurt the crow or the cobra let's read the next part that is paragraphs 16 and 17 to know the result i saw the bird flung nearly 20 feet across the garden it fluttered about for a while then lay still the mina remained on the cactus plant and when the snake and the mongoose returned to the fight very wisely decided not to interfere again the cobra was weakening and the mongoose walking fearlessly up to it raised himself on his short legs and with a lightning snap had the big snake by the snout the cobra writhed and lashed about in a frightening manner and even coiled itself about the mongoose but to no avail the little fellow hung grimly on until the snake had ceased to struggle he then smelt along its quivering length gripped it round the hood and dragged it into the bushes 
The miner dropped cautiously to the ground, hopped about, peered into the bushes from a set distance, and then, with a shrill cry of congratulation, flew away. Let us explain the words and phrases that we have come across in the paragraph. Flutter. It means flap to the wings irregularly without flying. Lightning snap. It means an attack at the speed of lightning. Bright and last. Here it means contorted and struck forcibly with pain. Quivering. It means shivering mass of his body. Gripped. It means Cut hold of. Peer looked with difficulty or as if searching something. To no avail, it means with no success. Grimly, it means in a very serious manner. Shrill, it means high pitched. set of questions with answers to comprehend the paragraphs under discussion. 1. Which bird is under reference? What fate did it meet? The bird under reference is the crow. It died. 2. Why did the miner decide not to interfere with the cobra? The miner decided not to interfere to avoid meeting the same fate like that of the crow. Three. The mongoose raised himself on his short leg. What did he do to the cobra? He caught the cobra by the snout, hung grimly on until the snake had stopped to struggle, smelt along the quivering length, gripping round the hood and dragged him into the bushes. 4. Who do you think the miner congratulated? I think the miner congratulated the mongoose. The winner. Summary of the paragraph under discussion. The persona noticed the bird flung 20 feet away with its body, shaking for some time and then it became still. The miner was on the cactus. She didn't interfere in the fight after this accident. The cobra was weakened and defeated. Now the mongoose attacked him fearlessly. He exhausted the cobra with his first attack and finally killed him. He caught the cobra by the hood and dragged him into the bushes. The miner came down to the ground, hopped about and returned to the cactus, giving a congratulatory high-pitched sound. With this, we have come to the end of the story. Here is a short biography of Rushkin Bond, the author. An Indian author of British descent, Rushkin Bond was born to Edith Clark and Aubrey Alexander Bond in Kasauli, Punjab States Agency, British India in 1934. When his father joined the Royal Air Force in 1939, Ruskin with his mother and sister went to live at his maternal hometown 
at Dehradun. He had his schooling from Bishop Cotton School in Shimla. He wrote one of his first short stories, Untouchable, at the age of 16. His first novel, The Room on the Roof, won the John Llewellyn Rees Prize in 1957. He has written hundreds of short stories, essays, novels and books for children. He was awarded the Padma Sri and the Padma Bhushan in 1999 and 2014 respectively. He has an adopted family and lives with them in Mushauri. This is all for today and all for this session.